Now, I'm not the only one that has an almost embarrassing amount of offcuts, but this is the problem I have. These four tubs here are turning blanks, uh, that box over there and this box are from the chair project, just the offcuts from that. Uh, more turning blanks here, more scraps here, and pen blanks up here. Actually, the pen blanks aren't a problem, they're actually quite good. That's a uh, stationary paper divider thing. But I've got way too much full space taken up by this, so I need a better solution. These tubs are great for actual storage and stackability, but I've got no idea what sort of blanks are inside it. If I want something that's on the bottom, that's quite a lot of stuff I've got to move. Now, I've relatively recently sorted through this, but it's still a mess. The problem with vertical storage like this is any small pieces get really easily buried. So this is what I've come up with as my solution. This will let me put scraps up to about 600ml in length. Anything longer can go on either of the two storage racks I've got on the wall. Let me show you how I built it, then I'm going to load it up. The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. Okay, so I've got a sheet of 18 millimeter pine plywood, Radiata BC plywood. I've got my cut list here. Uh, all the verticals are going to be 1.5 meters, so 1500 mil, uh, which will be that part of the board. I don't really want to, I could cut this all on the table saw, but I really don't want to, as this is heavy and uh, driveway goes like that. So I have to come in on a really weird angle for such a large sheet. So I'm going to break this down on the outfeed table. Underneath this, I've got a six mil piece of MDF that I keep around for cutting down sheet goods on top of. That way my blade will just stick through the pine plywood, cut into the MDF and not the table below. As you can see from the stack I've got here, I'm going to use dominoes to join everything together. However, you don't really need to. I'm doing that because I've got it, but a pocket hole jig would probably suffice. Dowling jig would definitely work. Uh, I don't have either of those things since the domino. Uh, if you wanted to use a little bit more material, you could just cut these a little bit longer and just glue them on face to face. End of the day, we're making ladders for lack of a better term. So it doesn't really, well, ladder shelves, that it doesn't really matter if it goes like that as it will with the dominoes, or if you were to just glue and screw or glue and nail it onto the side like that.
So I am super stoked with this. I've got all of those scraps loaded up. Uh, I've got all of my turning blanks out, which is great. I haven't seen a lot of these for quite some time now. And the other thing that we're able to do is go through a lot of the pieces that really should have been thrown out. Now, I haven't done a complete cull, but I've certainly sorted out it into burnables, um, stuff that's going to go in the smoker, stuff that might need some processing, so whether it's uh, resin so it becomes a turning blank or cutting down to the right size getting rid of the crap that sort of thing so at this stage it's not super organized I've really sort of sorted it by colors the bottom two shelves are turning blanks and then from there I've got some rough sawn stuff um, some tassie oak a few small panels more tassie oak blackwood and then jarrah and red gum in these two uh, eventually I'll go through and sort it out better, get rid of a lot of the smaller stuff. But for now, this is really quite good because I can see what I've got on hand. So if I need a small sliver for some trim, I can see that I've got that. Um, and as I said, the most important thing was that I've got it now all accessible so I can see what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. If you check in the description below, there is a link to the dimensional drawings for this, so uh, the 3D model and the PDF that has the cut list and 2D drawings of it. Thanks for watching.